So this is a Galaxy Nexus running BRD launcher. As you can see it has seven icons vertically and six icons horizontally. The search bar at the top has been removed. Now this version is only really usable in portrait mode because if you turn it into landscape it's gonna sort of be messed up because you see the icons are gonna be too far tall because of the search bar so I only recommend using this in portrait mode but there's a few tweaks I've done first when you press the all apps button as you can see there when you press the all apps button it's very smooth it goes in whereas in the old version you'd sort of see the icons that are on the left and the right side but now you don't and as you can see when you're sort of switching you can see that little the tablet interface but let me show you something I also fixed when you pick up an icon it sort of pulls it out into the overview mode so you can drag it up anywhere you want you can drag it over here onto a new home screen let go of it so probably one of the coolest features in here is the widgets so I've made it so that all widgets are resizable now it does depend on the widget whether it's gonna look good resized but most of them if they use relative layouts it should still look fine so news and weather is a good example so we'll drag it on here somewhere and it's gonna ask us I'll choose news and weather so at the moment I haven't made it possible to change the size of it when you first place it there were some issues getting that to work so for now that was that's been disabled but you pick it up and you place it back down and that enables you to go into this little resize mode now if you drag it over and as you can see when I drag it over there the text is going all the way to the end of the screen and if I wanted I could drag it all the way down here it'd be silly to have it that tall but just showing you that it's possible then tap anywhere else on the screen and that lets go of it that stops the editing mode so I also changed on here I added more items than were on the last one this one's got um, six horizontally and seven vertically. I think it was like five by six. Now it's seven by six. So it was increased by one on each side. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, so. I mean, even things like the clock, that widget is resizable now. So let me find that. Okay, the analog clock. Let's just put it in the center somewhere. So I pick it up. Unfortunately, if you notice, when you pick up an icon, when you pick up a widget, it doesn't resize to a small version when it's in this sort of overview mode which hopefully will be fixed later but if you notice it still lets you go up to that remove icon that's sort of the whole reason why I made it go pop out like this is that way when you pick up an icon that's on the top row it's not going to like want you to delete it right away and, and for instance you can't even place an item in the top row if that remove thing is there so I don't even know what you would do so I made it this way so that the home screen is smaller so you can place it anywhere you want and you can move between the home screens if you go to the edge like that you can move between the home screens and you can still oh, it looks like it let go of it and you can still remove it so let's just drop that somewhere we got the uh, we got the little widget movers now so if I resize if I make it bigger, see, now you can see it's taking up a lot more space than it was before. Now it's probably 3x3, three three, something like that. Let's skip that. And of course, as always, it has the same seven icons on the bottom there for you. 
and once again this is only usable in 240 dpi mode if you don't know how to do that then i have created a how-to guide on the thread so check that out thanks